Today I'm gonna show you another real to real deck. This is a realistic TR101D uh, real to real. Uh, it's uh, actually it's quite a rare uh, uh, lower end consumer deck, and I don't see much information about it, both on YouTube or just in general. Uh, it is made in, uh, I think around 1960s uh, or maybe 70s. It has some, uh, I would say it has some unique design for it, but not in a good way. I, in my opinion, there are some, those designs are really not user friendly. So I guess uh, those design, I will say, design floors made it uh, not sell that many. So that's why it's, it is rare now. I also have the um, oper uh, operational manual. It's just in a very simple deck. It has four heads, but it's really two sets of heads. So two erase and two heads, which doing uh, both play and record. In other words, it uh, do automatic uh, reversing and it can record in both direction but uh, you cannot really um, listen to what you are recording you have to wait until uh, the rec record end and uh, listen uh, in uh, back in uh, the play playback so this is uh, and uh, there is one schematic schematic uh, it's the last page, and uh, there is another one uh, uh, inside this cabinet. And I also have this sort of small insert, which uh, is called Fact Tag. And it just give a, like sort of like a quick start information. We can open the cover by just lift this a little bit. I think that's first design, which if you don't know, if you try to uh, just directly <laughs> pull this out, then you will essentially, you will, you will break uh, this part. What you have to do is just lift, the, lift it a little bit, and then pull out. I think that's the first design issue. So this is how the inside looks like. It is automatically reversing. It has a speed control here, and this is for you to control the direction of the play. You have a clearly a record button, play, and here you can see both of the buttons says FF, which means fast forward, and the, that is stop. So uh, if you press this, that will go this way. Press that, that will go that way. It's both they call it fast forward. So keep that in mind. So here we have the power switch, and then we have this mono stereo button. So, uh, but this only affects affect the microphone input, and there is nowhere to sit, and there's a, in the user manual. So I think that's another uh, uh, design issue because anybody will think this is for your playback, but it's not. It's for your record only. So that's another issue, I think it's not uh, well sort through. Then we have this uh, two uh, VU meters here, the record level uh, switch, like that. And back to this end, you have a uh, like headphone, it's you, your uh, output, input. And here uh, in the bank, there's not much. You have a uh, you have some uh, outlet for uh, for heat, so that's really for the motor and some food plate, and this is for you to uh, thread the power cord. So that's really it. There's nothing in that side. Alright, so next I'm gonna 
uh, open the the front and uh, show you what we have inside and uh, I'm gonna, gonna gonna show you how I do it because I have another video for it so I'm gonna just gonna take out and show you what what we have inside now we have this inside open uh, you can remove the main chassis out of the cabinet all you have to do is just uh, remove a couple of screws on the back and remove the two screws here and there then you can lift this out of it I'm not gonna show this because I have another video I'll show uh, the full process but uh, this I'm just gonna show you how uh, uh, all of these functions actually work so first um, you can see uh, there are two idler here and there are two more here and there is also one here so these two actually uh, is to uh, um, transfer the movement from the model to either one of this tar table and this one is for the cap stand and which is linked uh, to this and to this idler bar built and these two is used for um, uh, the, um, uh, the fast forward and uh, rewind so let's say if we just press play see uh, it lose this to uh, uh, this is to brick but this right now is it, it is not engaged that's because there is no power so if we put the power if you we this this is engaged that's because this is controlled by actually controlled by two uh, solenoids down there so and which is in turn controlled by the direction so you see press that goes that way press this goes that way so by this engage so the movement of the mortar will go to the uh, turntable but the turntable those two has two pieces uh, a bottom piece and a upper piece and they actually uh, separate so which means um, when the lower piece lower part spin uh, the upper can uh, stand skill so that is for um, uh, when you play let's say if you uh, this uh, pinch or not engaged then this will not move so that that is for that purpose and uh, these two uh, order only these two idlers only engage uh, when we do the rewind or the fast forward so uh, that's because these two idler has two each. The the bottom each will touch the bottom part of the turntable, and upper each will touch the upper part of the turntable. So by doing that, then uh, when you add to the fast forward or the rewind, and the mortal will always make the uh, this uh, two turntable two turntable uh, spin. Uh, we can see that and this is a auto stop uh, uh, switch so let's say if we do the um, play if we have a let's say if we suppose we have a tape then it will move this way you can say now this spin that spin and you can say this is not engaged and that's because I can stop this and that's still spin easily stop this and of course this is uh, loose and if we simply uh, press change the direction you can see this goes to that this starts to spin and this uh, spins also uh, changes the direction change again watch this right and if this is just out of stop and if we do a fast forward, see is that engaged? This is not. See, so now this is uh, there is a, there are more uh, force to it, so it's uh, spinning much faster. Similar as like that. If we do this, see is that engaged? And this moves much faster. So. Uh, 
and that's how this looks inside and uh, then I'm gonna put it back now we have put everything back so we can put this to running and uh, show you how this work and remember this is a low end consumer deck so so don't expect any good audio uh, but it does output this is the original reel which uh, come with this deck it's original uh, realistic deck uh, a real, real, realistic reel so you just uh, put this in and then you put this here and uh, there is no uh, real uh, cap or holder for it that's because the design is that it has a very small uh, sort of a ring here to make this tight so it won't it won't move and uh, you just put you can just put this in this way and now I'm gonna thread the tape and uh, I think this is a big design issue I feel for this deck that is when I go this way you can see my finger now blocked by the edge so I think this that's really a really really very inconvenient it's, uh, it makes the work much harder to do you see the blocks here the block there and as a reason is because uh, for some reason they decide to put this uh, they decide to put the whole thing inside well, I don't know why they do that. That's a weird design for me, clearly, or somebody did not really try it. However, anyway, I'm just read this fine. Press turn on. I'm gonna connect my uh, digital recorder. Directly to the RCA output here. And uh, I'm gonna, you're gonna hear the direct output from that. Now let's hit the play. What we are hearing now uh, is uh, direct output from uh, the RC. So uh, this is how uh, the performance of the playback. Uh, now I'm gonna show you uh, another thing, which I think is not so user friendly. Um, let's say um, uh, you are doing uh, the playback, right? Uh, this this direction, this way. Let's say uh, you uh, played a little bit, and then uh, as usual, 
I just want to do a rewind and listen to the same segment again. So let's say we do the rewind a little bit, and then what you want to do is ready to play again this way. So hit play. See what's happened. It goes that way. That's why. Because if you don't pay attention, whenever you do uh, this, the direction will change. So whenever you do a, a so-called rewind or fast forward, it not only do the fast spin, it also changes direction. For example, let's say uh, the direction is this way, right? If I want to fast forward, see how that changes? If I want to do the so-called rewind to that way, see how that changes. So I think that's another thing uh, probably uh, many uh, uh, user will not like. Next, uh, I'm gonna show the recording function. Uh, remember. Um, this switch mono stereo only affects recording. So right now I put it on st stereo so that uh, it will record both channel. And I turned the two volume to uh, maximum so that uh, I get big the maximum uh, volume uh, in the recording. So let's hit the two uh, play and uh, record and the play button. Then let's uh, play some music. Right now, uh, what you hear is a uh, is a direct uh, from the source. Remember, this is a two heads. Essentially, this is a two heads back. So you cannot really listen to uh, listen to uh, the recording right now. You have to wait until it's end. Direction, just do it like that. Then it will uh, continue to play down to the recording. Now let's do the playback. So, first, let's play this direction. And then we can play out what we recorded in another direction. Okay, I think this finishes the demonstration for the recording uh, function. Another thing I want to show you is the uh, automatic reversing function. I don't have a tape uh, actually uh, with uh, reversing full on it, but I do have a small piece of uh, metal. So I can just show you uh, directly. Let's uh, we have to take out this. It will change direction uh, when, when this metal piece touched that or touched that. So to, for, to, to do that, I think I have to, uh, uh, let's keep it play. I think it's, right now it's this direction, right? So if this, this touches right here.
see so now it changes direction and uh, so when I go this direction this will be to touch that see now it changed to that direction so that's how uh, that's how this uh, auto reversing function working Okay, I think that pretty much shows you everything about this deck. Again, um, this is a quite rare deck, but the reason they're rare is because it's really not so user friendly, and I don't think it is so uh, bending uh, back in the time. But thank you for watching.